Well, what's up guys? Ushundi from the Ghost Dogger, uh, with a bit of a different setup this time. Uh, I'm currently on my floor in my bedroom, because it's the best place I could get an angle for this video. Um, but today I'm coming out you, at you with a live duel, and this time it's me on the bottom playing Magnet Invoked, and on the top we have No Evangel uh, playing Dinosaur, I believe. Um, hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, let's just get into it. So, uh, mm, I believe Noah won the Dyro and opted to go first. And he opened Fossil Dig Double Ash Super Poly Twin. Uh, not exactly a great hand. So he's going to activate this, the Fossil Dig. Uh, I choose to hold my Ash uh, to use on the Over Raptor, which probably uh, isn't the best choice. It was just to, to hit his normal stone because uh, he manifested the Mistelonosaurus. Uh, but I asked the Mistelonosaurus and he has it. So he sets his uh, Twin Twisters and passes. I don't know why I didn't set the Super Poly, to be honest. It uh, doesn't exactly seem optimal. So I set one, uh, summon my Mech Knight. Banish it to search Free Sky. Uh, he's gonna twin my back row so I can't summon another Mech Knight, but unfortunately for him, I have a handful of fucking spells. So uh, I'm gonna summon my blue, he's gonna ash that, uh, and I'll just attack the the Ovi. Uh, so he opens Lost World, which isn't, isn't great. He's really struggling here in this top deck war. So I normally summon Alistair, add Invocation, and from here it's just uh, standard Mech Knight plays to. To kill him. So go into the Alistair Invoker link, fusion summon Kaba just in case he has a hand trap. Um, Ali F, uh, Madness F to add Book of the Law, uh, Invocation, add back Alistair, and hit for 8,000. Oh, my, my mouse is being really funky right now. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can fix this. Bear with me here. There we go. So attack for 18, 25, and then Book of Law into Magellanica and hit for another 4,000. And after siding, uh, he makes me go first. And I open not really anything, so I activate my Pot of Desires, hoping to draw into Alistair. And we'll see what I get here. So I get Phantasme and another Blue Sky. Great! We love that. Um, so I just set one call by the grave and pass, hoping the call by the Ash and the DD Crow will be enough to stop him. Uh, I've banished one Alistair and two Meltdown, so I still have plays in my deck. So he goes, he's got his Pankertops, which he can't summon, uh, and he's got Shadal Fusion, so he activates his uh, Diagram, which I Ash, and then he uh, goes Set Rex Pass. Uh, I open Invocation, Special Blue Sky, uh, Purple, Normal Crow, Link into Al Mirage, Link into Phoenix to pop Diagram, uh, discarding Blue Sky, and Special Purple Nightfall. And then hit him for 25. Main 2, Link into Vulcan Madness, Fusion Summon Kaba, just so I have some kind of place to stop him. So he. Terraformings for Lost World, which starts his blaze, special summons Packertops, gives me a token. And activates to Doll Fusion, fusioning into Grista. So I didn't actually know this card before I summoned it. Uh, so it's a Solemn, so it negates a summon by discarding a Shadal monster, uh, which he has not in hand, unfortunately. Um, so he uses Dragon to target my back row and I banish his giant wreck, so he doesn't have it in great he doesn't have it to banish. And then he's gonna normal summon Missile Dosaurus. Uh, attack my Kaba. Uh, use the Lost World effect to pop a, di a Dino in deck and special Ovi, searching UCT. And I don't think I really have any plays here uh, through this, unless I top deck, you know, Pot of Desires and, and open into two amazing cards. Uh, so I'm going to use my Phantasma here, summon a draw two, uh, adding the Institution back to the deck. So Ali might give me some plays, but. Uh, the board that he's going to make here is going to be a bit strong, I think. So he's overlaying into Doll Fusion. Oh, wait. Sorry, he's trying to add back Doll Fusion off of uh, the Grist that he, that he summoned earlier, that he sent to Graveyard. Um, but he never actually declared it, so... Uh, and then he's going to XYZ into Digaster Emerald. I didn't even know Emerald was off the ban list. Was that card ever banned? I, I thought it was banned for some reason. Um... 
So he's just gonna add cards back into gray, back into deck, and draw into them summon source. Summoning Mascarena and summoning UCT. That's a, a bit strong. So I'm gonna use my mind control first, I think. No, I'm gonna normal summon the Alistair. Add invocation. Mind control. Uh, the Hida. He's gonna summon Avermax, and I think I don't have a way to get over that. So I'm just gonna scoop it up. And summon to game three. So I'll be going second here, he's going first. He's going to open nothing. Wow. 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 Uh, wow. So, <laughs> set baby pass. Wow. Uh, so, set instant fusion. Uh, summon purple nightfall. Purple effect. Fetch indigo. Special blue. Oh, special indigo first, and then special blue. And then blue F. It's going to fetch yellow star. I think he's saving the uh, Ash Blossom here for a uh, Alistair because he knows that's kind of my win condition. So I'm going to beat over the baby and then attack with Indigo. Link into Morningstar to get my skill drain card and he's just going to negate it there. So he top decks Lancia. Oh, so many hand traps. So many hand traps. Luckily for him though, I don't actually see the Alistair. So um, the Purple Nightfall is going to return. And then I'll hit for 4,500. Leaving him on 1,100 life points. And he top decks into Foolish Burial. Let's see where he goes from this. So he's going to send Giant Rex. Uh, oh, and then Special UCT, Banishing Giant Rex and Baby. Uh, Giant Rex returns. That's pretty good. So he's just going to attack both my monsters. Uh, so I attempt to use Purple Nightfall here. Realize I have no targets. And then just <laughs> sadly send it to Graveyard. So he passes over to me, I draw into an impermanence, which is no use to me. So I set it and then special my blue sky, fetching purple nightfall. Uh, normal summon Ash, and before I can link summon, he activates his UCT. Uh, destroying his Nibiru, and then I instant fusion. Because I really need to get rid of this UCT. If it stays on board, I'm essentially dead. Um, so I summon the restrict, uh, restrict, take dino, take the dino. Special summon purple. And I go to end phase the uh, Thousand Ice Restrict destroys itself and sends ECT. Open set rotation. Wow. These top decks. These top decks. So we're going to see him set Lost World to my field and I believe Diagram to his own. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, activate Diagram. Uh, discarding. Oh, sorry. Destroying Lancia. Um, adding Lithos to Jim. We love to see it. Oh, he's back. That's a good card. Uh, so he's going to look at my extra deck. Uh, banish uh, Alistair Invoker Madness, Nightmare Phoenix, and BLS Soldier of Chaos. Uh, pretty much the, the major threats to his deck. And then he's going to attack over my purple and pass it over to me. So here I normal summon Alistair. I see I might have plays here. The Lithosa Gym's at 2800 from Diagram. And if I don't destroy it, if he top decks uh, uh, any of the babies or a uh, Missonosaurus, not Missonosaurus, the um, Overraptor, then I just lose flat out because he's going to get his UCT. So I have to find a way to get 1100 damage on board through this 28 Lithosagem. So Fusion Summon, Magellanica, add back Alistair, Magellanica for game. Normal monster for game, boys. Normal monster for game. And that's going to be game. And he actually would have opened the Petit Tyranodon, uh, although I did have the answer in the impermanence. But uh, yeah, not a, not, a, <laughs> not, a, not a great situation for him at all. Um, so I guess that's going to bring this, uh, this live replay to a close. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of the open hands and stuff um, and the new format that I'm doing with my head over here somewhere. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.